Ahoy, squire. Howdy, howdy. Tis oh. us. And it's back to Dark Souls and we've changed our fucking outfit for I was once. I say, is it us? Whoa. Yeah. Look, we're looking fancy. So stop complaining that we never change our outfit. Because now we actually have the vitality to wear the Drangleia Karma without fat rolling. Thanks All for right. that. So, after we completed the Iron Keep last time, we put it to the vote to decide where we were going. And the, at least last time I checked, the... Uh, Paul was leaning towards the Grave of Saints. Okay, okay. So that's where we're heading. And here comes the well, the Drangleic's most specific Yeah, the most, craftsman. world's most specialised labourer. Can't you make other things with wood? No! Only yeah. ladders! Yeah, he got a ladder right, he doesn't want to risk making a fool of himself or trying anything else. Everything else is just terrifying. Okay, now we, now we for the future purposes we do really need to get the most expensive ladder. Off we go then. So... Maybe burn some... Yeah, I'll just burn through some souls. I'll shut up. I'm getting you your souls, <laughs> alright. Where are you off to now? I've got shit to do, man. I'm not just hanging out here chatting with you. Try like... this large soul of a brave warrior. Ooh, that was a big one. Mmm. Yum Tastiness. yum. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I do like the idea that he seems to be the only person who objects when we wander off mid-conversation. I think a lot, oh, of them do, a lot of them do that. Oh, really? I haven't been noticing. But what an asshole this I guy is. I get such is. a warm feeling inside when others pay me to help them. I get a warm feeling inside when someone fucks me up the arse. Oh, mm. sorry. Forget I said that. That's a saucy look from a ladder construction. I think the ladder was already built. I think he's only really got one look going on. <laughs> a saucy <laughs> one. Yeah, it's just saucy. Ladder makers are notoriously saucy folk. They're a little bit like, uh, you know, postmen and milkmen and whatnot. So as I said, this is survivable if you've got the special ring. But... But fuck that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know... We can go to all that effort, or we can just pay some damn souls, of which we've you know, got a fair stock sitting around now. I'm just uh, thinking about what we're going to be faced with down there. I think I will put my lance on. Lance is good for environment, if not bosses. You put your lance on one leg at a time. I'm just demonstrating for Gabriel's benefit mm -hmm. that if we talk to this character, say... Go into the menu and piss off. Huh. Yeah, they all get pissed off a huh. little bit. <laughs> right, to the depths. Are you ready for this? No! Wee! Wee! Tough. Wee! And our reward is more planks. And up we go. Don't bother touching the bloodstains anywhere here, because it's obvious <laughs> what happened. Oh. Alrighty. Oh, that's right. We need the key from uh, later in the underworld. Don't even see a keyhole on that thing. So from here, we need Glad to... Glad you're doing this bit. Get onto that thing there. Roll. Actually, you know what? I do not know what. I'm not sure what you're up to here. Oh, sorry. Wrong ladder. Ooh. I was going to go up the other one. Okay, so we're climbing back up. Yep. Why are we doing that? Because I'm going to get the medium ladder as well. Because I think it's a slightly easier descent from that. That's kind of a dickish trick. Though there. we did need to buy this one because uh, we need to access that door to reach an item to open up one of the DLC areas. Okie dokie. Are the DLC areas kind of, like, hidden away like they were? A wee bit. Yeah. I mean, you, the items that you'd get in the original version by buying the DLC, and which unlocked the DLC areas, are now found in hidden areas of the game. Uh-huh. One of them in there. So... Chomp. And another chomp. Refreshing. Nom 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 nom. So how you been, Gabriel? Yeah, not bad. Finished my observation days, and in two weeks I'll be doing, um, actual teaching. I'll be doing 12 classes. What a scary thought. For both you, your children, and the world in general. <laughs> well, believe it or not, teachers have a curriculum they teach, too. I'm not allowed to just go in and make things up. Oh, I can skip that. Ah. 
Uh, so that's the long ladder, and this is the medium one. Okay. Yes. Medium ladder was just right. We. Um. Hudson Gabe, given your professed love of the oh. Star Trek franchise, what are your expectations of the next film installment and the news of a Star Trek series that is apparently in development Pre from Jack Shit? Pretty damn low. The movie or the series? Okay, actually, this le Oh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> Look at all the bloodstains on that ledge. Yeah. Do you reckon they came down from the top? No. That's not... This does not look like a better... No, actually, I think I will uh, try <laughs> the previous ladder. Whoops. Shit, I pressed back step by accident. <laughs> the bits of wood coming down after you. Well, over to you, Gabe. Good luck with that. Oh, I did not want to have to do this. You're going to make fun of me. <laughs> no, I won't. You're going to be mean. Why, what could I possibly expect the, of you? I mean, you've never even played this bit before. The internet will be nasty. Oh, we forgot to rest in Medulla. Oh, oh well. No. Just teleport. So, yes, yeah, Star Trek. I mean, I haven't watched the second Star Trek film. By many accounts, it's kind of shit. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't... Apparently, it wasn't, you know, shit your pants... Phantom Menace awful. Oh, no, 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 it was, no, no. It was just bland Hollywood crap. Yeah. Just, yeah. Lose all that interesting science fiction that used to be the core of Star Trek. And let's just see things the audience recognizes exploding. Mm. Like, I will say that, you know, seeing that level, like that really high cinema special effects used on Star Trek stuff, it has a novelty to it. But yeah, as Star Trek, it's just... It's not really. And my understanding of this new series is that it will be lean more towards the new films than anything else. See, I've I've read conflicting reports on that, so I just I don't know. I think at this early stage, I'd like to see it be more. Apparently, it'll be taking place after next gen. What about after DS Nine? Yeah, that's a good point actually, because a lot of big things happen there. Is there any kind of fanfic? Is there any official fiction that takes place after that? Like, has there been books? Yeah, there's. Uh... Novels that okay. follow DHS9, as I understand it. Holy shit! Oh, close one. Now drop down to the next one. Yep. Hooray! You're alive! Yeah. Oh, okay, there. I might. Now pick up that thing. Easy. It's not a trap. Easy does it. No, I'm not, I'm not thinking you, I'm just. You know, I don't want to just wonky myself off. Uh, I'm probably going to heal before I make that drop, actually. Oh, hey, Ring of the Evil Eyes. That's pretty good. Yum. Might want to see if we can equip that. All right. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that was not fun. My sphincter was tightening there. Yeah. Okay, so Ring of the Evil Eyeball. Um. Yes. Because really if memory serves, the Ring of the Evil Eye restores a bit of health for everything we kill. Oh, okay. Well, I might just... Uh, I... swap it out... for mm, the was... thing that gives us extra physical damage, personally. Um... Of all of them there. Alright, so we'll get rid of the... Ring of Blades. Yes. Ring of Blades, and... Ring of the Evil Eye, plus one! Mm. No less. Ooh! Oh, that's even... Oh, that's right, we got even better Ring of the Evil Eye. Even eviler. Alright. What have you got to say? Liar ahead. Ah. Well, okay. I don't, I don't... I think... Are we all in agreement DS9 is the best Star Trek? Of the next gens? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't... I mean, what is there besides next gens? Um, I'm actually quite fond of... Uh, Enterprise. Sounds like a storm brewing outside. Fucking... All right. Cheeky little bugger. There's a chest across that bridge, if you would care to jump it. Um, jumps... Press in the left trigger, left, right, right. left yeah, uh, just... stick. Hooray, <laughs> alright. I don't think it's a trap. It'd be a very mean place to put one. <laughs> yeah, that would... Uh... Ash knuckle ring. Uh, I gotta stop doing that. If I can keep doing it, I know it. I get ash knuckles when I finger my fireplace. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that was a bit of a blow. Oh shit! 
What's that about? You're He's, gonna explode. He wants to make friends. Ooh. Missed me, bitch. Oh, okay. Alright. You Come missed on. you missed the friendship hug. Come on. Come on, friendship hugs for everyone. Uh, that stung a little. Well, at least it killed the other uh, guy. Okay, is this all right, poisony all crap? Right. Uh, nope, no, it's, crap. it's not that sadistic. Found a spell. Great heal. That's a miracle, I think. I don't think our faith is anywhere near good enough for it. Uh, do we have any rings that make us move better on shit? Nope. Poop. I'm not sure there is one in this game, actually. Oh, turbo poop. Um, I mean, in the Dark Souls 1, that would be yeah, the rusted, rusted iron, iron ring. That you get by hurtling yourself back to the... Uh, it's going to lure you out to an area where I can roll and move a little better. It's Thomas McGee. I don't think they do anything as... Oh. No. I don't think they do anything with um, Deep Space Nine's depth and willingness to broach subjects that would have made Gene Roddenberry a balk mm. because it was a bit too confronting and challenging. They, just, they probably just want to play safe. It also had, like, probably a, a wide range of things I'd actually call characters. Hey, it's Blind Bone Dust. Hey, all right. Well, yes. You know, things I mean, that stood out. The thing about DS9 is that all the side characters were really good characters. Almost better than the central characters. I, yeah. Um, I love the way Colm Meany's character, Chief, just became the show's toilet. Like, everything really messed up and horrible that would happen would happen to Chief. That is the most obvious observation anyone has ever made. I know, I, I'm not saying it like it's an unknown. That's what I'm saying. I love that that was In the... fact, it's so obvious, it's been referenced by us before. Ooh. Yeah. Visions of whole. Uh, of course. Okay. Yeah, this reminding you of anything. Your Dark yeah, Souls 1 veterans, you. Yeah. getting familiar. And not pleasantly familiar either. No. Here's uh, a question from Max Two Thousand Warlord. What did you think of the Preacher trailer? Did you even watch it? I did. Oh. Did you? Yes. Well then, what did you think of the Preacher trailer? Um, incredibly plain, which I am kind of bemused by. I didn't see much that was reminiscent of the series, of the comic series, no. which is probably for the best. I mean, the one thing I think they captured really well is Jesse Custer being the most self-righteous cunt on earth. <laughs> that was, yeah. I think it... Okay. All right. Now, don't Where fall I... to your horrible uh, death. Uh, what are we... Can I fit through there? What's going on? Oh, Jesus. Horrible okay, death is not there. what we want today. Nope. We're nope. not at home to Mr. Cockup. Nope. What are you about? Ladder. Fucking... Yeah, thanks. I guess this is where Gilligan was hanging out. Um, I don't know, see, either the, either the batshit insane stuff is in it or it's not. And I don't see much in the way of value of acting at any point like it isn't. Hey, there's a chest with bloodstains around it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What does that mean? What the? What does that mean? I don't know, I'm going to see what this... Yeah, what did this knobby do? It gave it a smack and it started killing him. Yeah, I think I can guess. Oh, no. Fuck. Huh. That was misleading. And now we've lost whatever was in it. Oh, got some rubbish. Fucking bloodstain. What the hell? How did that guy die? I, I don't know. I guess <laughs> they lured something here from further ahead. Uh, Vader, maybe? Oh, oh well. Uh, well. What can you do? I can't hear. So, well, we're going in. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I'm not enjoying this. Welcome to the gutter. Uh, fucking what? Wait a second. I don't. Haven't we bypassed a whole area? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be like uh, a tomb with rats in it that we were just supposed to be in. Apparently not. Huh. I'm confused. Okay, now. what? Those things spit poison at you. All right. Watch out. I can't spit poison when they're fucking smashed. All right. It wasn't even... Over there doesn't even take me anywhere. That was just... Nope. Oh, fuck you. Seems not. Who designs fucking gob statues? What the fuck? Yeah, we somehow bypassed... I didn't know you could do this. We bypassed the uh, area with all the rats. 
I think if you die, I'm going to go back and see what we'll see how we ma missed that. But yeah. so you might as well continue, see if you can get as far as the bonfire. Because this is Dark Souls 2's answer to Blight Town. This is the gutter. Uh, it performs basically. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Well, <laughs> well, there it is. Fancy. Mmm. Yeah, the writing in the Preacher trailer didn't seem reminiscent of the writing of Preacher at all. There was like a... I saw characters in there I didn't recognise in the slightest. And there was, doesn't seem to be any reference of the supernatural elements of the yeah, series. Yeah, that's... that's... nothing. Hey, that... dung pies! So, Something... like my little tip for the gutter, it's actually quite a good idea to light the torches as you go through it. Ah, uh, okie dokie. It gets dark as fuck. Oh. Just go up to the... Oh, bomb. I can have a third! Well, no, just go up to the bonfire and uh, choose to light your torch. It doesn't work the way it is in Dark Souls 1, okay. if you'll recall. Oh, I'm still on that. Uh, no, go out of there. And uh, press Y. All right, and then right. light torch. I'm gonna bring some light to you, you horrid place. Yes, shed some light on the situation. If I swap out for my shield, it puts the torch out, doesn't it? Yep, that is the uh, deliberate choice you must make in this game. Alright, are these like... Are these, are these guys gonna... Ha ha, I knew that was going to happen. You know what, just, just fuck all of you. I'm not in the mood for this business. There's some weak ass enemies. And yes, he managed to hit you, because you're out of stamina. Nope. Because if you wanted to faithfully adapt Preacher, or indeed any comic drawn by Steve Dillon, <laughs> you only need to cast one guy. Oh, uh, I know. Steve Dillon's one face. It's yeah. so magical. Well, he's got two faces. He's got hero face and fat face. <laughs> those, uh, those are his only faces. Um, yeah, I was reading... Um... I think one of the Thunderbolts series is done by him, and oh god. I remember, I remember seeing a picture of the Hulk as drawn by Steve Dillon. Red, yeah, there's Red Hulk, and um. It was just Steve Dillon face. Yeah, just on bigger. A, on a it's, huge body, yeah. It's fucking great. Uh, you suppose, like, Steve Dillon has, like, one of those aphasias that keeps him from seeing faces properly, and that's just what the world looks like to him? I think maybe he lives in a basement, and he's only seen his own face in a mirror. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Uh, I can't remember. This is quite a labyrinthine area, uh, just as the original Blight Town was. Okay, so, alright. It doesn't... You know, yell if you spot anything, because... Uh, kind of... Well, I think you can start by going out on that lovely balcony arrangement these dead things have. Alright, so... I think you got to jump down yeah, to there. I think I'm making a... Time for a suicide jump. That's a long fucking way. No Do way. it! You pussy! No ladder that way. Yeah, all right. That's and stop muttering. There's nothing for it. All right. We can do this. Na 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 na. Yeah! Na 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 na. That wasn't that hard a jump, man. That was amazing. It was thrilling. I was riveted. It was really easy. He jumps a lot further than I thought he was going to. Yeah, and it was like lower down as well. Makes it easier. I wonder if something happens if you light all these torches. Seems Where? like a Zelda puzzle. It really does. We're going to find out. Because this is Dark Souls, probably nothing. And then an invisible chest will appear. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, piss, fuck, <laughs> bugger all. <laughs> the typical Dark Souls. Fuck you. Oh. Uh, what's up there? <laughs> oh, well, that's interesting. A cave. Spitty statues! And another door like the one we saw earlier. Fuck you, you fucking. Ew! Ew! They're gobbin. Who manufactures gobbing statues? <laughs> How? Maybe they were designed for a water park and the uh, water got in. in yeah, look, that's, that makes more sense now. This is all like one big failed. Yeah, it's a water park where someone let the sewers run into it. Yeah, that's fine. There was a scandal. It was a whole thing. You'd know if you kept up with the newspapers. 
Hmm. Can I confess something, listeners, as the sky makes thundery noises? I'm an astrophobe. What's that? Someone with a fear of storms. Oh. And it's really sort of given me the willies. And you can use, have you, you know, have you have been talking to your dude? Have you got techniques? Yes. Well, there you go. That's well, one of the techniques he advised was to have a friend around who could reassure me of my safety. Yeah, you are 100% absolutely safe. Think well, about... you say that, but the reason why I'm an astrophobe is that last year a big hailstorm smashed my windows and showered glass over this precise spot where we are sitting. Well, just focus on making fun of me. Fuck you, you big fat twat. There you go. I bet you eat lard like it's a golden gay time. Yeah, fuck. See, I did look. I just, I just, I keep telling myself I'm not going to skip the things, and then I keep skipping the things. Yeah. It's almost like I'm incapable of learning. What's Ugh. with, what's with these things? I don't know. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh, no, you fucking don't. No, what? you fucking don't. That's just Fido. He wants to lick your face and be oh, friends. Oh, fuck you. Do these explode? I don't know. Oh, this fuck. is new for Scholar, I think. All right, fuck it. Shit. Oh, All right. Well, something nope. comes out of him. No, you don't. All right, now. Nah. Is he... I think that's the stuff that, like, reduces the... Uh, Come on! Dam dam Shit. Shit titties. Dam no. Damages your equipment. That's what oh, it does. I don't want any of that. Yeah, you probably don't. Uh, my torch well, is out. You, well, now, no. you got to light a torch on a torch. Or a bonfire. Oop, oop, but, oop. Hey, it's Mr. Twat Features. Yeah, fucking... Who improperly stores weapon destructo? Oh. Oh, piss. Only I'd lit that before I... I was scared of the monster. Uh, yeah. well, well, it's... It's only it's, natural. Do you see that fucking thing? Oh, look. Look over here. There's it's, a lot of blood. Oh. Hmm. That's making me uncomfortable in places. You could start a blood refinery here. <laughs> blood for the blood god. Um, um, I might use a butterfly. Should I use a butterfly? No, those aren't that Skip common. It. And just, just fuck not, it. I don't, not, it need to be not for this, I don't yeah. think. Lighting the areas in the gutter is more luxury than anything else. Ah, okay. Well, it is a luxury we can do without. It's a handy luxury, but it is a luxury. Oh, if only you could get over here, yon uh, fire. Another ladder. Uh, no, nope, that's the rocks. That's the wrong side. That's, that's the wrong side of the ladder. Ladder it up. Okay, Gabriel. Mm. A question from Callum KP. If you were a professional wrestler, what would be your name, gimmick, and finisher? Um, More wrestling questions directed at Gabriel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've asked this one of me anyway, and we've we've answered this. But well, fuck well, it. Let's do it. Let's one go, good, come, up, yeah. come up with a different one. Why Quickly. not? Um, human effigy. Okay, I'd wear a mask that would have just almost the basics of a smiley face emoji on it. Just you know the two little upside down you know U's and whatnot. Is this like the Nacho Libre story? Um, like you'd wear a mask so your students would not know you are secretly their teacher. That would be actually really fun. I might do that one day. Just do like local Brisbane indie wrestling. Never tell anybody. Um, that uh, pot's giving you trouble. Yeah, it's that wily it's all of a nameless pot soldier. as it darts left and right dexterously <laughs> avoiding your blows. That bodes well for whatever the next boss fight is. Uh, okay. Yeah, go that way. Oh, praise the torch that's not lit. Fuck you and your fucking shit. Uh, ah, fumbles. Ha. Splat. Well, don't fucking... keep standing in front of it then. Uh, I thought I was going to smack it before it was going to... You melon. Now you're poisoned. And you're losing health. Alright, that's fucking hurting. I've only got two more of these. One more. I was doing a lot of damage. Well, yes. Oh, that was close. Fucking... Christ! Hey, we're back here. Same place as before. Got to climb up two ladders now. Ugh. Is this, do you know where we're going? Like, where am I? Um, you're moving in a general direction of forwards. Well, the thing is, there's a... Do you see, that, the, see that smoky door? Yeah. Like, vaguely in that direction. So that's the thing. I think the smoky door is in an opposite direction. Like, I don't... Mm, well, I think it, you know, wraps around a bit. All right, well, there's... The other reason why lighting things is useful, because you see where you've fucking been. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Good point. I got to keep that, uh... Oop. Whoops. Okay, so that doesn't appear to lead anywhere. That was a... Well, fuck you too, Dark Souls. Well, there's... You gotta be... have to go somewhere. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, is Maybe, uh... That's a fucking tight jump to make. Yeah, down there. Down here? Yeah. So where my... So there? Yes. Alright, Just, just okay. down onto that ledge. Off we go. Ah, uh, no you don't. 
Yeah, it's starting to keep your eye out for these yeah, things. Fucking oh, 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 what are you about? So what's your gimmick as a wrestler? Um, I don't know, just... I'd be, um... Yeah, so the, I'd have just a little smiley face. Uh, Would you be the emoticon? No, i just call myself Mr. Manners, and I'd essentially be a demented wrestling sprite. I'd almost be so- I'd, I'd be the kind of character that is 100% sure that wrestling is real. I would cast no promos of my own, everything would just- I'd have a little tape recorder with me, and I'd pre-record all my promos on that, and then, um, that's how I'd do it. I'd never actively speak on, uh, fucking- You know how- what you should do? Ooh, there you are, you fucking thing. That when you're recording your speech, you're, you're recording your promos, don't actually speak on the take. Pre-record the speech, and then overlay it over the take with you holding like a cartoon mouth on a stick in front of your face. <laughs> and then wobble it up and down as you talk. That is a really good idea. I'm going to steal that. This is probably going to happen. This is something I'll do when I'm bored in 50. So what would be your finisher then? Um... Oh, oh splat. Fucking... Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. No, not climb. Oh, where are you coming from? Poison throwing knife. Yeah. I'm on the floor. Ah, oh, you sneaky bitch. Yes. You still function even when you do too. All right. Well, now you're dead, shattered. You're something. Um. Hmm. Finishing maneuver. That's a tough one because that takes a lot of thought. That's you know the finishing maneuver can make or break you. Look. The stunner, like Austin's finisher. That was a big thing about what made Austin great. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Perhaps an aerial, you know, maybe, because you can do finishes a variety of ways. Like you can sometimes struggle to get yourself off the ground for long enough. Well, that's why there's like turnbuckles and whatnot. Right. Um. Not. Nah. All right. Maybe hey, it's one of those dudes. They're everywhere. Poison uh, spitting. There you are again. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. So yeah, probably some cut. The. I can that keeps really doesn't it? Black quiet bomb. All right. So, is there any visual cue? Oh, well, there's that. All right, have you got a? I don't seem to be able to stag you off of. Uh, See where this differs uh, from Blight Town is that Blight Town that scenery changed a bit as you went through it. You can see where you see you're making progress because you could see like the background. Mm. Fucking. And you could see all the way down to the bottom. At times. Yeah. The darkness here is... Uh, hey, it's a poison, like, mothy thing. Alrighty. It seems to be only dumb luck you didn't set it off. Well, now it's a rug. Old Radiant Life Gem. Ooh. Ah, uh, fucking... I hate these areas in this in these games. I really do. Yeah, the dark and scary bits. Everything shit... No, I'm not- Whoa! <laughs> Quite a 21 gun salute you provoked there. Flip it a flip it a. And I'm pretty sure that's where you need to go as well. <sighs> Can I lock onto you? No, I can't. Nope. Because they're not enemies, they're technically scenery. Can I make that with a roll? I wouldn't. <sighs> Making that with a jump's gonna be hard. All right, well. Cheats of the wind. Oh, hey, that went surprisingly well. Don't jinx me. Oh, oh you should have waited until the poison fucking went down. Bag. Wait, there's bonfire over there. Don't use a poison thing. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Yeah! Well, rest, you got arrested it as well. Oh. All right, I think I accidentally mashed my way back to Manjula. Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> well done. <laughs> just, I don't, I don't want to not push A fast enough and die without well, while, resting. While you're here, go back to Gilligan and get the shortest ladder. I want to see if that will lead to the other place we somehow bypassed. I'm still not sure how we did that. Gilligan, no Gilligan, no. I've played this game tons of times and I've never... Might it be a to scholar? Totally change? skipped the Grave of Saints. Oh, have you seen Gilligan? Gilligan the ladder maker. Set up the ladder. That's fine. Yeah, we want the cheapest chips ladder. Mm -hmm. The discount one. 
Yeah, economical option, please. The phone keeps buzzing. Alright, come on, saucy. Alright, okay, so... That one... I think it's this one? Uh, I wish he'd label them. Just which one? Uh, that one's the shortest one. Oh, yeah, it is too. It's quite, still quite a drop there. That is... That's not exactly helpful. You might want to take all your pants off. That reduces fall damage. That's just taking us to that item, though. Well, uh, I'm wondering if this will also lead us to the... I think what happened is that we managed... Cause since we took the longest ladder, we dropped all the way past the first tunnel into the one below. And there's another tunnel that leads into another area with, with a boss in and some stuff. Okay, so what am I doing? Getting my kit off? Well, yeah, yeah, just just uh, take it all off. Try to remember what you're wearing. Hide the night leggings, prisoner's gloves. <laughs> Douglas has seen better days. <laughs> I do love the, uh, the, the sort of almost body damage of the hair. And... Yeah, we've died so many times. We. Okay. Ooh. My turn, I think. Tee hee. <sighs> Why can't you fall an aborted fetus? What? Why can't you fall an aborted fetus? Why can't you fall an aborted fetus? Fool, fool. Fool. Yes, an aborted fetus. Tell me. Because it wasn't born yesterday. Ah ha ha ha. That's right, I didn't tell a joke from the last one, did I? Uh, no, we got, just, we got sidetracked by something. Yes. Where were we? Uh, drunk leg, mail, prisoner's I, gloves. I'm willing to bet that this is. I mean, did you play the scholar of the first sin? What the fuck do? Someone's got. Oh, all right. Someone's got the bell mace. Um, this is probably a change between this and the. I don't know if it is actually. Well, at least your blood stain's still right here. Hooray! Oh, yeah, that's nice of it. Which one was the longest one? Not this one. Isn't it? I don't think so. I think that's the longest one. I don't know. No, that one yeah. goes further down. Oh, Ooh, I heard that one. Yeah, that was my elbow. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't, like, yeah, aside yeah. from that door that we oh. can't open. Um, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Two, Isn't that exactly what happened to us last time? Two goldfish swimming in a tank. And uh, one says to the other... Uh, you work the steering wheel, I'll use the pedals. Ha <laughs> ha. That one I have not heard. Oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> I don't think this, what we're doing is a good idea. No, see? There's a tunnel oh, there further is, down. There is, it's right above. Yeah, oh, all right. that one we okay. haven't gone in. Okay, I'm copping your feel now. Okay, um... Maybe use a human effigy, get full health. Because I think if we'd had a full health, we could have survived that. Uh, come on, noggin, what are the... Oh yeah, that's it. There's a slow fall item we could get from the cat merchant. But that was that was beautiful. But it's more souls, cost more souls than we've got. Yeah, back, back to normal. We've got hair like John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. Oh god, we do too. Man animals. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that very role. Uh, so yes, a joke. All right, so we're. It's the middle length ladder that we go down. A bloke. So, this one. Uh, I think that's the shortest one. Yeah, the one where my blood stain is is the middle length one. That's the longest one. The one with my blood stain yeah. at the bottom of. That's one there, yes, by the boxes. Yes, bloke comes down, comes back from home, comes home, and says, God, I'm so sick of that asshole milkman. He was bragging that he's shagged every woman on this street except one. And his wife goes, mm, I bet it's that snooty Mrs. Peters next door. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, so... The idea is I take a running leap and use the circle of the... 
thing to carry me around to there where the item is, right? Nah, I just sort of smashed hard right and just as I pressed jump. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay, we can do this. Come on, Gabe. <laughs> Shitty tits. Well, that sure was a nice human effigy we wasted. We got the full health back. And that's what matters. Well, we have. I mean, we've still got 28 of the effigies. I don't think that's... I mean, is, is that... Well, you never Surely, know. Surely, that feels like enough. You never know. All right. Back to the classic look. <sighs> At least we keep the hair and stash with this level. <laughs> Have you ever disliked the endings of any video game so much that it ruins the entire game for you? From Before Coffee Waffy. Do you want to read out another joke from your prepared list? All right. Um, yeah, what do black people in a tornado have in common? Tell me. It only takes one to ruin a neighborhood. No. Right. Yes, endings we've disliked. Hmm. I'll tell you the one that came to mind when I read that question. Oh. Good job. Uh, the one that came to mind straight away was Inversion. Did you ever play that? Um, it's not ringing a bell. It was a shitty ass cover based third person shooter. What was it on? It was very, like, last generation. Oh. Very Gears of War y. Um, no. Right. Time to tank back up. Yep. Uh, tank and heal, tank and heal. So, but I mean, if the game was shitty, that's, I mean, well, the way I read this question is that it's a game we generally like, but is then spoiled by a shitty ending. Oh, hey, we've got a dark pyromancy flame as well. Oh, cool. Can we use that? Does it do anything different? Uh, no idea. I don't think we do. I think we're too stupid to use it. Poor Douglas. Uh, we denied shield. him a proper object. Yes, we need a shield. Mm-hmm. Dang leg shield. It's indeedly doodly. Funny helmet. <laughs> Funny shirt. Which was it? So yes, how Inversion... Inversion ended on what it probably thought was a clever twist. Which so a, often can ruin a plot. Yeah, that's... So the, the whole plot of the game, your character deal. is... Um, oh yeah. Well, no need, actually. Huh. Your character has been motivated by finding his missing daughter. There was right. a big invasion... I just noticed I'm fat rolling, which is probably because of the Grand Lance, thinking about it. Also, yes. sit at the fire. Yes, it was. So you were at exactly 70% there. <whistles> well, I guess we're stuck with the mace for a bit then. Good old mace face. Yes, the plot was he's looking for his missing daughter, and he's uh, got a... Just like Gears of War, he's got a colleague NPC with him. Who he has, you know, conflict with throughout the mm. course of the battle mm. in, the, in very gruff, macho ways. <laughs> so this, like, search for his daughter takes him through a ruined city to a prison camp and... Oh, blimey. All right, so yeah, here. And eventually he gets to the end with the promise that his daughter could be right at the end of, of the path that he's going through. Like a... Like he's, and he's also, like, discovered some... Uh, truths about his world that I won't spoil in case you actually want to play this game discover some crazy truths that almost makes them want to stop going on because it fills them with such like Do you want to just tell me hope. anyway? I, I mean if it's a middling fucking cover shoot of well, last gen I doubt I'm really going to get it. The world they thought was real wasn't let's go with How? that. How? Well it was a uh, simulation oh okay. They were actually in a big spaceship or something alrighty and, uh, yes, yeah, so they find this out and they become consumed with, uh, with pain. And the, uh, and the, um, psychic character actually gets too depressed to carry on. But the main character goes, no, we have to continue for my daughter. She, there may still be hope for her. Who exists. And then at the end of the game, it, like, when you finally get to the end, for some reason, like, you never found your daughter. And then it flashes back to a scene that was right at the start of the game that shows the psychic character discovering your daughter's corpse and then deciding not to tell you. See, and this really pissed me off because this was like our driving motivation for the whole thing. And we'd risked our life in like a million different ways. Uh, and the, I was thinking the psychic character must at some point have thought this is going a little bit too far. We've just like... Oh, oh gone up against the entire skeleton army and uh, died millions of times and reloaded and uh, risked everything and uh, and wouldn't you tell your friend that when you realise the universe you were in is meaningless yeah and, he's, like that's, and he was and he was like pushed 
the, the, the his friend was pushing him through, going, no, we have to go through for my daughter's sake. And all this time, he knew she was actually dead and just didn't say anything not to, so as not to hurt his feelings. Yeah, and that, right, right. I thought that was... I mean, yes. I mean, if I was that psychic character, I would have come clean around the time we'd slaughtered about 12 million guys. Because, mm. you know... Or when it turned out that everything was, li like, meaningless. That, yeah, that's a know. case of a little white lie spiralling out of control. Alright, this area looks like shite. Yeah, this is, uh... The royal rats, friends. Rat, 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 ratties. Yeah, there'll be a whole bunch of rats. At least and you can cluster them like that. One special rat will spawn, and if we just kill that, the boss fight's over. I love how sort of like the little cute mouse, like rat effigy, like Do you have statues to around. Identify the special rat. Uh. What you're looking for is a sort of mohawk down its back, <laughs> kind of like uh, Spike, from Stripe uh, from Gremlins. I think it's only there once the health bar appears. Oh, that makes sense. So killing them at this point is just farming. Basically. Right. And probably not farming a lot, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, I can't really be asked. Uh, I'm just, come on, I know you're coming. Oh, I think that's him. Uh. Or not. It's hard to see with this, with it like windowed, you know, yeah. like... Yeah. And... Come on, Does he maybe only show up if you've killed enough of them? Like, is, is that a trigger? It's entirely possible. Come on, guys, meet me halfway. <laughs> I just want to meet your dad. I just want to kill your dad. <laughs> I just want to kill him a bit. Okay, I think the big attack one here kills. Or Damn! Not. Or not. That's it. I don't know if the... The fucking evil ring is that useful. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. That was a reasonable chunk. I mean, in an area like this where you can kill mo- uh. Jesus. Roll! Oh, there, there he is with his health bar over him. No, it's, uh... Oh. Just because just... that, that's the last guy I hit. Oh, I didn't even realize it did that. Have I been doing that the entire fucking time? Come on, guys. We've got places to be. Ah! That's bad! It's trapped seeing that. Uh, it's no, gone, thank Christ. Just a, a thing appeared in front of the window for a second there. Fucking task engine. What? Oh, something's going on. Uh, it just does that every now and again. Uh, okay. Alienware. It just does things every now and again. Still, oh, there we are. Royal Rat Vanguard. Aha. Where is he? Oh, I think he's in the middle of the pile at the moment. Where am I looking? Oh, uh, yeah, I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Just ran out of stamina. Fuck. Oh, fiddle tits. Fiddle tits, bum bugger shit, ass piss. Right. Bonfire. Oh, they go away. Oh, that's fucking nice of them. Bonfire, please. Lucky it was right next to the boss fight. Oh, that was a boss? Yeah. Oh, alright. Why do you think there was music in a boss health bar? Oh, oh, I thought it was just a little... kind of a sub-boss thing. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a mini-boss. Oh, oh, right. It's an in-betweeny okay. boss. Okay. The boss of this area. Stupid rats. Hey, buddy! This is the Rat King. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. And he has a covenant. <laughs> this is actually quite a smart covenant to join if you're not into PvP and being invaded. Because there's a couple of areas that the Rat King rules, including this one. And if you're in it, you have a chance of being summoned by a Rat King minion who will summon you to their world and uh, try to kill you. And all the enemies will be against you, not him. Ugh. So I actually think it's quite smart to join the Rat King Covenant. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know means about the Covenants. And there's no other Covenants I really have any interest in being in. So, uh... He seems like, a, he seems like he's pretty on the ball. So we might just do that. See the true human? Take this ring. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so if we wear that, that uh, has a chance of summoning other people who have entered this area. Oh, well, we don't want that. And we can actually lay traps for them. 
Hmm. Are these the Rap King's territories are full of Pharaoh's Lockstone doors? Oh and yeah, if you, and if you use Pharaoh's well, Lockstones on them, then it opens traps and extra enemies for people to fight when they uh, invade your ter your land. Huh. So yes, now we're going to the place where we already were. Ah, okay. Holy be Jesus! Fucking drops! One. I fucking hate drops. Right, it's a good thing these coffins are half sticking out of the wall. <laughs> Not sure what I would have done otherwise. Uh, just cried and shit, I suppose. Oh, I've only done 45 minutes. Huh. Feels like longer. Actually made some interesting progress this time. Yeah. Bleed stone. A bleed stone. What does that do? Uh, it attracts women who are on their period. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Yes. <laughs> okay, we need to do <laughs> another long drop, I think. Menzies. Um... I wouldn't drop all the way down to the ground. I'd aim for that bridge. Yes, yes, it's still gonna hurt. Yeah. Probably should have bought that slow fall ring now. I'm thinking about it. Ozy oh, Wellsy. <laughs> there's a there's a fellow. Douglas there's doesn't a... need no torch. Nah. Yeah. Ow. Oh, oh, that wasn't too bad. I hardly did anything. I, I want that now. Whatever that is. <laughs> I want that. I'll probably have to jump down from there. Um, I might be able to, can you oh, go across well. to the left where the thing is? I think this will take us back to... Oh well, yeah, I know already. This just takes us back to the tunnel we came in in the first place. Yeah. Uh, down the bottom of that well. Hmm. I thought something, for sm I thought something felt wrong. I thought I smelt a rat. Ma -ha, ma -ha, ma -ha. Uh, if I drop down there, those explodey guys are going to attack, so I'm just going to risk... Put my equipment back on. Well, I dropped down there with equipment. Um, it doesn't. I uh, didn't. Actually, do a huge I'm, amount. I'm gonna grand lance it. Fuck yeah. And I'm gonna try not to go over the fat roll limit. Ain't nobody like a fat roll. Maybe you could just not put pants on. <laughs> uh, 71, 63, 64, 68. Um, Trousers. I think it's a hard leather day. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, might as well put some gloves on. Some of some mittens. kind. Uh, still nothing light enough. We should put more into vitality. Is it vitality or endurance? Vitality. But it was endurance in Dark Souls 1. That's weird that it's vitality this time. Yeah. Right. Let's you just wanna here. be your friend. Will he explode? Not if I do that. Ah, oh, I thought that exploded if you kill him. Oh, well. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, maybe take that tunnel, have a look in that tunnel they're coming- oh, Oops. They're coming out of, cause... Like... I didn't explore down there, so there might be- No, you killed the dude, didn't you? Yeah. Who is not that way? Or is he? Is this the way to the gutter? Yeah, it is. What was the other way? Because I, I did kill him. Yeah. I've confused myself. He appears to be gone. He must have been a one and... Yeah. Oh, that guy's having some fun with him right now. Oh. All yeah, right. you remember. Well... Duh, Gabriel. Gabriel's not best known for his memory power. Nah. Uh, I gotta get brain training on the DS again. I'm not sure that helps. Yeah, it does. So when I played brain training, it would maliciously not understand my accent. <laughs> I'd say, black, 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 like my heart. And you it didn't. would go, wrong, the answer was black. You didn't say that Japanese enough. Well, it was on an Australian DS, and I have a British accent. Maybe that was the problem. Yeah. Should have been saying, black cats. Wrong, get fucked. Black cats. Skewing New Zealand either. Possibly. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I think that was an unfair damage take, considering the drop. Uh, questions. Ask a question. Alright, yeah. Um, Yahtzee and Gabe, if you were both going on separate avant-garde killing sprees that ended in your suicides and international attention, how would you do it? By one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Willing to bet that we've both put too much thought into this. Probably. I'd want to be an arty serial killer. I want to leave people posed in grim tableaus, 
like a family with all their heads cut off and uh, their bodies facing the TV. Would you recreate um, famous works or would you, um, is the art inherent in sort of the way you pose them? Well, I don't want to be a, you know, I don't want to just rip off from other people. Oh. I want my own art to deliver my own message, you know, man? See, it's interesting that you go arty because I'd be a serial killer of artists. And, well, uh, I guess we're going to reach an impasse here, aren't we? It's going to be like Freddy vs. Jason up in this shit. <laughs> the final season I think of Dexter fair, that doesn't the, suck so hard. I think it's obvious who will be who in that um, comparison. And, I don't know, if I was going to go out in a blazing glory after, a, after murdering lots of artists, I'd also just... I would try and destroy as many great works of art as possible. Like, well, just trash them. Well, I would be caught in a very sort of tired artist kind of way. I just go to a police station and say, hello, I'm the artist, and I'm so bored of trying to get you to understand my message. <laughs> I figured it would be easier if I explained it all to a psychiatrist in a cell somewhere. A hand on your forehead. Can we just teleport to the other side? Like, I found it. Papa. Oh, yeah, we can now, can't we? Yeah. Because you found the other one. I'm a good boy. You see, yeah. yeah, you see the image for the gutter. Very well encapsulates it. Mm. Central gutter. I was hoping we were on the other far side of it. No. That's Eastern Gutter. That's the, you know, that's the nice area. Oh, blimey, we've done 50 minutes and we have only, only answered five questions. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'd murder artists and destroy as much art. I'd probably I'd be the dartist serial killer. Um, you asshole, what you got against that? I uh, just think it needs to be destroyed to be remade. Ah, oh! Here's the suspicious wall. I knew that it was around here somewhere. Um, question for Yahtzee. If you had to outline the essentials for a good horror title, what would they be and why? Also, can a horrific atmosphere be adapted into any video game genre from Nullator? That's a good question. I mean, a lot of video game genres carry a sort of inherent vibe. Like, you know, I don't think you could make a horror puzzle platformer. I think, uh, I'm not sure you could make a... 2D Mario style platformer with a horror theme. Maybe if it had like realistic platforming like in another world or something. Mm -hmm. But not like a exaggerated style platformer. I think this is getting back to that um, RPG maker horror thing that you showed me where it's just I find you know I think there's a visual and the visual representations are so heavily stylized in that kind of pixely you know the kind of cutesy way like it's hard to do anything that... Oh I forgot to equip a shield and that's why I was that's why my load was alright. Uh, I might just change my pants. Um, because... Wonder of I mean, that 2D... Maybe? We were talking about it last week, but I forget the name of it. That 2D, that spiraling outward 2D um, Lone Silent Hill. Lone Survivor. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, it's not a platformer, but it, it is very much that kind of pixely style. It's not a jumpy platformer, though. No. That's what I mean by, like, gameplay genres. Yeah, like a step platformer sort of thing. Yeah. I don't um, know, that... See, that didn't... Uh, that didn't really freak me out, either. As for how we, what you need to create the horror atmos, I'd say the horror atmos is something like 60 to 70 percent audio. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I mean, a lot of people just do the low visibility. But if you get the right audio, even high visibility will, will be fine. Yeah, a really plain image, you know, a really simple you know, room can be quite scary if you've, got the, if you've set up a decent audio atmosphere. And in terms of plot, the plot set up for a horror game is pretty much the same as the setup for a horror film, which is separate, no, sorry, isolate, separate, pursue. Hmm. You first you isolate all the characters in a uh, isolated area, like a, you know, a underground a bunker, a ship at sea. Can you go around there? Somewhere like trapped by a frozen blizzard, or indeed in a haunted town and won't let them leave. Then you separate all the characters so they can't help each other. And then you pursue them with horror. That's, that's basically the, uh, the base of it. Bloody thing. I, don't know. I think just... this would just be if we didn't come in here via the secret wall. But there's some other things around here. Oh, Spitters. I know what you're up to. You're Mr. Explodey Man. That hurt you a lot, for some reason. Yeah. I think he exploded. Yeah, well, he he's the guy who explodes without dying. Ah, well, I was gonna go get fucked. Which I consider very antisocial. <laughs> right, here's one of the more bewildering aspects of uh, Dark Souls 2. First, there's these lads. Uh, yeah. 
But the important thing is what else is in this cave. I'm looking forward to this, because bewildering by Dark Souls standards. Is... Bam! Giant ant. What the fuck? Giant ant that doesn't hurt you. Oh. Alright. In fact Let's just I mean Just plonk if, the alien queen down in here. If any of these uh, oh poison moss, handy. And more poison moss. Very handy. For some reason, which I don't understand. If you'd been poisoned and were standing in front of this gas, the poison would be cured. It actually heals your poison to suckle on the giant ant. Is it, this one of those emergent storytelling things where we just we've just missed some stuff? Possibly. This is just Can you hurt mad. it? Yeah, you can kill it if you want, but oh, why would well, you why? want yeah, to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to die. It doesn't hurt you and it cures poison. It's the, probably the nicest thing in this whole area. Whole game, I'd say. Yeah. What? Did that just move? What? Oh no, it's the walls. Yeah, Alright, that's... The wall texture has a bit of animation to it. That diddled me brain a little bit. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I don't really have anything extra to add to that. That's... Sound is so neglected in horror film, I think. Mm. Film, games, really important. You can set so much. Um, alright, where are we? Which video game genre do you see dying out in the next 20 years? I think that says 20. Uh, by Princess Blue Pie. Uh, 20 or 10 years, maybe. Yeah, well, I don't think it matters too much to the... Well, I'm wondering about the future of the Sandbox game, presently. Because people used to have this attitude, I think Ubisoft definitely had this attitude, that uh, Sandboxes were some kind of zenith of video game design. Because you can do everything in them! But I think, especially games very of very recent times, Games are illustrating that sandboxes do carry disadvantages of their own. And that is that you completely relinquish control over the pacing. Yeah. And a couple of other things. And, um... What I'm finding, like, the best Assassin's Creed's, for example, were the ones that had a much tighter narrative, like Assassin's Creed 2. And th they've gotten shit because they're just sort of disconnected piles of stuff to do now. <laughs> oh, more of these things. An activity centre. Yeah, the pacing um, thing is a real big thing for me in sandbox games. Like, you must, you know, the story drives this huge peak of stress and importance. You have to save this person. Off I go to ball. Wee! Like, it just fucking kills it. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, nope, too fat. Oh, bum. Douglas, should have eaten less pies. Don't fat shame me, barnacle things. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. And uh, if you look at the recent Jesus. installments of long-running franchises, like Halo, they seem to be almost be taking a step back in returning to the more sort of linear shooter attitude. I don't think anything's really going to die out. Like, I just don't see that happening. Well, I think... if anything's popular enough, it can die out for a while and then yeah. come back. Like, but... adventure games sort of made a comeback. I mean, that's... I think we're past... Like, there's so many people making things in so many different ways that I think we're past that kind of very kind of simple, narrow industry yeah. sort of thing. Where I just think that if you look, there will always be something of a genre being sort of produced and knocked out. Uh, I fucking hate Black Gold. That, hmm. that does not think, bode well. I think we can level up. Possibly. Well, let's do it, me old mate. Yeah, there'll be there'll be peaks and valleys of popularity for certain genres. I mean, everyone said rock band games were dead. Like, how long? I mean, was that even a year? You know, two years ago? Well, the only reason they came back is because there's a new console generation that didn't have guitar games and no backwards compatibility. And really, there's nothing more they can add now. I think the lukewarm reception both Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live have uh, received sort of represents the death knell. Mm. Well, I mean, and, well, I mean, again, it's we live in a world where fucking Duke Nukem Forever got made, and you know, I just think again, there's no death; it just recedes, and re like the tides, it'll just go away for a little while, and then everyone will go, "Hey, remember rhythm games? Yeah, they were fun." And then someone will release one. Uh, vitality. Mm. Ooh, we can just get another one. Crank it. Hmm. Adaptability, maybe. Ooh, poison resistance. That could be handy coming up. Yeah. Thanks, sweetie. Um, let's see, what could fade? I mean... Oh, I just remembered we got some uh, sublime bone dust as well. Mm. 
there was a period where like fighting games really waned uh, between I can't remember which one was last released between Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and um, Street like Third Strike the only like sort of 2D fighting style game releases were the Street Fighter EX series and there were very little of those and mm. they're kind of a niche thing within Street Fighter even what's that a uh, fan-made fighting game with the horror movie icons in it. Ah, uh, Terradrome. Because I saw your link to that, and I took mm. a look at it. And blimey, they went for some obscure characters with that, didn't they? Oh, man. Pumpkinhead? Matt Cordell? I thought yeah. I was the only person in the world who watched Maniac Cop. <laughs> Maniac Cop! Um, Although that was a, a little-known Bruce Campbell film, fact fans. I think I've only seen, like, the third Maniac Cop. Really? Yeah. Well, Bruce Campbell does die in the second one. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna download those when I get home. I'm gonna watch the Maniac Cops because I've seen the I've seen the pumpkin heads. Um, I hate this area. Yeah. Gonna kill all these assholes just, just to be that safe. Is so that is just awful. Um, for an amateur game with no money, like not kickstarted, nothing like that, Terra Drums remarkably good. I mean, there's you know a lot of little things wrong with it, but for some guys making a game by themselves, good job. I can't. Hit low enough to kill that one. Oh, there okay. you go. There you go, champ. That one's looking right at me. Sneaky bitch. This is. I don't like these. Yes. Yeah, this, this annoys right. me. This is dumb. They are assholes and they're annoying. I think it's this is quite annoying fucking too. Fucking holy. Alright. That. What's the name of the thing from fucking. <laughs> yeah, what's the the wall master or something from Legend of Zelda? What's the hand yeah, in Zelda? Yeah, wall master. Yeah. Or floor master in some games. Alright, he can be the puddle of urine master. Um, what are we talking about? Uh, games. Uh, Terradrome. <laughs> right, Terradrome. Terradrome's good. Give it a download. Bit of fun. There, another one. Alright, do those just come out of all of the holes or is it a... Okay. You fucking suck it. People kept telling me to stop using the strong attack on this thing, and I'm starting to see that point. Well, the strong attack didn't kill the guy, but like two quick two, hits yeah. did. I think that thing's spitting into the wall like it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, sucked in. Um. Can you oh honestly boy, you're gonna make this hard for me, aren't you? <laughs> can you honestly see um, first-person shooters? I mean, I'm trying to imagine a situation where they actually start to wane, but I think just the base... No, I think that's too essential, a genre. Yeah, I think just the, the base market for that is just huge. Um, what do yeah. you think about first-person shooters? Why do they put lens flares in first-person shooters? Um, lens flare... Because we're supposed to be looking out through a character's eyes. Yeah, it's a weird side effect of lens flare in film. Lens flare is put into movies to get past the awareness that you're watching... It's like a weird meta thing. We studied this in my um, realism in film course. Uh, like in a space battle, right? Obviously it's all CG, so there's no need realism to Realism in film? The fuck yeah. kind of career is that in ADOG? And it's not, you know... It's a part of film studies. It's not, holy oh, shit! I hate these guys too. It's not like a Did degree. I mention I hate this whole area? Yeah. I hate this whole area. Fuck. Okay, there's things... There's spitties to your right that are getting you. Yeah. Well, somehow we've acquired oh, ten poison fiddles. Yeah, because uh, she's facing a different direction. Fuck this. Like, just fuck this. Fuck this, and fuck you. Like, so we know that the fucking scenes in Star Trek that Abrams made are all completely, like, computer generated. There's, you know, there's no fucking sets or anything like that. So he puts, like, lens flare is put into them to give viewers the illusion of, like, sets and the presence of a camera. So you use the existence of filmmaking tropes, like the presence of a camera and lens flare, to make it look like they were actually filming in an actual location. But you don't need to do that in video games, though. No, but it's just, it's... Without thinking about it, people have just adapted it as a part of what makes a visual, you know, look impressive. God damn it. There's probably, like... I mean, was there a period where it was a real shiny tech thing to have cool lens flare? Because games do that a lot. Well, it certainly was a period in Photoshop. <laughs> there was a time when everyone who had Photoshop just stuck lens flares and everything. Well, there's probably that because games do that as well. Like they, you know, the new tech comes out, so you gotta you gotta have the what is it now? Tressellated shit. Or that. Yeah. But in, unless you're playing Half Life, your character wouldn't have lens flares. No, no. I mean, it, it, I'm not saying it makes sense. Just, yeah. That was a good roll. That might be a bummy knocker situation. Fucking, Fucking... poison. 
They're gonna spit at you. I think you're right, you're right in their sights. Alright, okay. Okay, get away right, from roll. there. Yeah, get, get, yeah, make a... Make a run from there. Um... I went to a party at the Old Town County Jail. What are your favourite depictions of the apocalypse from all fiction, religious texts, and prophecies? Denbo123. Uh, the end of In the Mouth of Madness? I got meta. Yeah, I liked it though. Like the guy comes out of the asylum and the whole world's deserted and there's panicky news broadcasts. He just goes into a cinema and gets a big bucket of popcorn and laughs his head off. <laughs> Watches him. He's Watches better the be start good. Of his film. Fuck you. Uh, uh, oh, uh, there's another one. Pull me an awkward. I don't, I don't think the fucking stabbies. Okay, I'll try. Well, I'm liking the increased range. Uh, I suppose. Uh, what's in here? I don't. I don't think anything. Can you even walk forward? Screw it. Fuck that. Uh, um, so what's your favorite depiction of the apocalypse? Hmm. Okay, I'm taking as like the actual process. Um. And you gotta... No, I think my launch is doing better there. Uh, I'm not saying in terms of like d raw damage, but I think that it, the arc of the Bumi Knocker might have better hit opportunities. Mm, but I suppose that I'm, one, he's coming out quite long, so I'm not probably... sure I agree. Do you want to lock onto him, or do you want to just? Because if you draw him out, and yeah, just stab forward there. Probably makes sense. Yeah, there you go. Rock and roll. Um, you keep doing that. You you kind of lost the element of surprise, man. Yeah, I, I know you're there. Uh, End of the Evangelion for my money is because it is butt fucking insane. Like oh, I've yeah. seen lots of apocalypses. Apocalypse I. What would it be? Apocalypto. Apocalypses. Um, and they're all they're, there's there's usually just a, a lot of the same about them. Apocalyptorama. Uh, <laughs> um, End of the Evangelion is fucking weird. Even for anime, it is fucking weird. Haha! -ha. Shit! Shit again! Alright. Fragrant branch of... Lucky we got lots look of out, Look 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 out, This is not good. What? Okay. Okay. Shit. There's a guy in the... Oh, fucking Jesus. Fuck this. Fuck everything. There's a fucking invader. Is a, 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 can you get hit while you're doing? Oh. Oh, okay. I think he uh, fell off the edge. <laughs> Stupid woodland child gully. That was insane. That entire sequence was fucking mental. I don't know what, what the fuck's the going on here. What the fuck kind of name was that anyway? <sighs> oh, I happen God. to know of this secret path that helps you bypass this whole tortuous field of horror. Wonderful. Um, what's and your guilty? the final boss right there. Oh, oh bugger! I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna check <sighs> him out. Bumbles. Um, oh, actually. Yeah, you can I'm, do it. We've got lots of poison yeah, masks. we got lots of these. I'm gonna see if I can do this guy in. We can do it. What is your guilty pleasure to Moxa? What's yours? Um... Ugh. Oh, it's the standard Dark Souls lots of dead bodies smashed together, boss. <laughs> uh, it's... Hard... Oh, you're the asshole that keeps making those. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um... It's... Somehow. Yeah. Seems a bit clumsy with it. Yeah, what is a guilty pleasure? Because, I mean, unless it's really fucked up. Like, if I enjoyed torturing dogs, like, that's bad. Yeah. Um, well, what, what do you like that you all wouldn't bring up to someone at a first date, for example? That's a little easier. So the thing about this boss, when I first saw it, I thought his head looked like a Katarina helmet. So yeah. I thought, is this the fate of uh, Sigmire? He just got really hungry and started eating people. Yeah. I don't. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Alrighty. That's. Okay, so. Ow. What happened there? I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it happened again. It's, it's such be, an easy temptation to go for that extra stab. You gotta be careful backing up against this boss, because you can walk straight into those fire pits. Oh, fucking fire pits. Alright, well, you can have a go if you want, but we're at, like, an hour and a bit. So um, we might leave this for next time. Yeah, well, uh, we'll, we'll leave it as a cliffhanger. Can, cliffhanger can Gabriel defeat the rotten? 
with my mummy knocker. Um, I will leave you listeners with a hilarious joke to see you off. Um, as soon as I think of one. <laughs> Riveting. I got my hopes up. Give me a parameter. Um, dead bodies. Um. Okay. So a guy calls into work and says to his boss, Sorry, I can't come into work today. I'm sick. And the boss and uh, his boss goes, um, Okay, well, fair enough. And then the boss goes out for lunch and realizes he's not far from the guy's house. So he thought, well, maybe I should just check up on him, make sure he's all right, make sure he doesn't need anything. And he goes in and he finds the person who called in sick, uh, fucking a girl on his bed, really enthusiastically. Hmm. And the boss goes, hey, I thought you said you were sick. And the guy goes, I am sick. She's dead. (laughs) I actually didn't know where that one was going. That was good. And on that note, see you next time. Toodle pip.